This video shows how to digitize acoustic reflectors in the SonarWiz sub-bottom profile window. To get started, I've opened up a sub-bottom profile um, inside this digitizing window, and I'm going to press the new button to create a new reflector. I'll call this new reflector R1 and give it a description. I'll just leave the uh, des default description that's chosen. Choose a sound velocity, uh, text color, and a line color, font, and thickness. When I'm finished, I'll press the OK button. Next, SonarWiz will present you with a pen cursor, and that's the indication that it's waiting for you to left-click to define the points along this reflector. So this is the reflector area that I want to digitize. And so I'll start by left-clicking to define the boundaries of this reflector. So I'm just, again, left-clicking along each point to define the reflector. I can put them in in any order, left to right. I can put another one before the beginning point um, and so on. When I'm finished digitizing this reflector, I right click to end that digitizing session. Now you can see we've got the current reflector set as R1 with the classification that I gave it. Now if I need to add a new section of this same R1 reflector, maybe I want to digitize this little piece of it over here, um, I don't need to redefine these parameters for R1 again. Instead, with R1 selected in the current reflector list, I can use the Add Fragment button to add a new fragment without having to redefine all of those parameters again. Again, left click um, for, for the four points and then right click to end the digitizing session. Any point within a reflector when it's selected may be edited um, simply by dragging the mouse over the point. Um, you can also use these Insert and Remove Points buttons to uh, insert new points into the selected reflector. You can put them in, in the middle or at the end and you can use the delete points button to obviously remove points from the reflector. This concludes the video on digitizing in SonarWiz.